So what's up family? Welcome back to my channel. Let's go ahead and hop right into this video. So I already have my eyebrows done and in today's video I'm going to be using Juvia's Place Mini Masquerade Palette. Yeah. So uh, obviously the beat is not like slay to the guys. It's not like all of that but we'll get into that as we get to the foundation. Right now let's focus on this eyeshadow because I was so proud of the eyeshadow. I feel like I did this is one of my best eyeshadow looks, okay? Let's forget the dry skin right now, the patchiness, the tones that were popping off. Like, let's talk about this eye. So y'all already know, um, you can see what I'm doing. I'm just throwing the purple on here. I started off with a brown foundation. Um, not foundation as in makeup, foundation as in a base. That's what I should have said. A brown base for my um, eyeshadow look. And then I went in with a purple. Now I am applying this blue. I wanted to blend the two, incorporate it, give you like a blue grape berry. I don't know. I was trying to give you some berry flavor. So I am just trying to get these to blend. So what I did was after I put the blue on, I went back and I... Um, added some more purple to the top so that they could just like mesh together and look like a smooth transition from one color to the next. And I'm just making sure that I didn't miss out any, um, you know, any areas, make sure everything was blended. So this is Juvia's Place Concealer. This is in the number 16, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's 16. And I'm not like a cut crease specialist but I do like the look and I decided to try and incorporate that here so I just kind of use the um, concealer for my primer or whatever um, I do want to purchase some like white base so I can do really like clean sharp cut creases but for now this will work so I decided to use my finger that's what you saw me doing because that um, I think it's Jamila it just comes not Jamila um, God, what is geyser it shows up so much better when I use my finger so that's why I was doing that number um but yeah hopping right on into the foundation now so first and foremost my skin was already like super duper dry like desert texture on my face and when I got that little it was the LA girl pro yeah LA girl pro primer that I showed you all I picked that up from my beauty supply store i thought that it was going to be a lotion texture you know how the product i thought the product was like a moisturizer but it was more like a vaseline so that vessel it but it wasn't though it was like a velvety matte and on top of my desert face it just like that's why i use the brush i know i normally use like that um blender or i use that um not blender it's like really a sponge but um I normally use that or use my other little soft brush, but I was just trying something new to make that foundation lay. So go make it with the same concealer, just doing all of my concealing, um, all of my, you know, contouring and everything. I don't know. If I would have just went off how the results came out, I would have not uploaded this video. But like I said, I was so proud of how the eyeshadow came out. I was like. You know what the good bad happy and sad y'all here with me i'm gonna show it to you all i'm not gonna say that you should not use the la girl um primer but i'll just say it's probably for oily skin people because it was not for me so now i'm showing you airspun and translucent and i also use black radiance cream contour palette it's my go-to you know i always i always use that contour palette whether it's the cream or the powder one cream being my favorite though and now I am just contouring my nose. And I don't have any particular brushes. I get brushes like from people that buy them from me. Like I saw this makeup brush. I know you like makeup. So, you know, I've gotten brushes from people. I've gotten brushes from the dollar store. I've gotten brushes from like anywhere I want to get a brush from. So, I do want to get some Morphe brushes. And speaking of this wing right here, I do want to get a wing pen. Just so that I don't have to apply, keep, you know, drawing the wing over and over to thicken it up. Because I'm just not... The wing and the eyelashes, we getting there. 
So shout out to Beats by Deb because old girl showed me how to apply my lashes like this. It literally takes me probably two to five minutes to put on my eyelashes where it used to take me like 30 minutes promise so i'm just wiping off the excess glue that got on my lashes and look how it just pops right on i appreciate it i appreciate it so before this video is over because i'm getting close to the end and everything is always self-explanatory just want to take out some time to give a huge shout out showing some love to all of my beautiful subscribers y'all are just the best thank you so much for your love and your support y'all know y'all just humble me with your just how y'all show up and show out so i appreciate it and it's going in with my perfect tone here this is wet radiance um it's like a matte uh it's not a gloss but it is like a lipstick i don't know i love it it's my favorite and I had to go back in here with the eyeliner and just make sure that it was very sharp. Um, I like my wings to look crisp, so I'm cleaning up here. But this is the look. I did what I could do with it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up or thumbs down. We rocking. Until next time.